Um, we are about to do a keychain that requires us to use the kerf offset. So what I want to do is kind of walk through this real quick. Uh, it, it is fairly basic, so this shouldn't be a long tutorial. But we're going to have our original cut, which is going to be this one right here. And then our secondary cut is going to be the, the inside layers, which I will change. Um, either I will eliminate the outer blue line, um, which we would be getting rid of those two there and just be cutting those out to, to basically fit into the keychain that we just cut out. Uh, this way it's inlaid. So we have our original cut and we have, let me double click on this. And we have all of our settings and then you have your kerf offset. So from, from my experience with at least acrylic, uh, if we increase the the outside offset, so basically making the, the the outer edge slightly larger uh, by one, that basically compensates for the kerf, which is the area being removed or burnt away by by the laser. Or you know, if you're working uh, with with saws, then the saw blade thickness. So we're trying to compensate with the kerf to, to fill that gap that has magically disappeared uh, by the laser. So I'm going to run this real quick and, and basically show you uh, how it works and how it snaps together when we're done. Alright, so I just sent this file over. I sent it with a zero kerf offset, so it's just going to be a standard cut. The dimensions of the graphic are the dimensions. And that will be what we're cutting. So we're cutting out a four inch keychain by about uh, 1.4. And then our secondary cut will be a different color. Uh, and then we'll adjust the kerf offset. Okay guys, we cut out our first cut of quarter inch black acrylic. Uh, the second one will be white quarter inch acrylic as well. So the idea is these guys here slide in there, but they also will easily slide right out. And we don't want that. We want to fill those gaps that the, uh, that the laser just made by the thickness of the beam by removing material. So, like I showed you earlier, I'm going to remove the outside. I only want to cut the interior stuff. Um, I'm going to double click on my cut. I'm going to set my offset. Uh, let's see. Point one. And we're gonna test that out, and that should be very accurate. Uh, the only difference is the size of the lens. So if you're using a thicker lens, uh, and what I mean by that, if you're using a four inch lens to cut through material, the beam is, is, is bigger. Inherently, the, the larger the focal point, the thicker the beam. Uh, I'm using a 1.5. I'm used to using a 2 or a 3, so this may be a little too tight. I may have to go a little bit lower or smaller on the curve, but we're going to test it out and we'll see. we got everything cut out and now it should basically fit in there perfectly even without glue you may actually even have to use like a rubber mallet or uh, bang it in there but as you can see there is practically no spacing whatsoever 
it is a nice tight fit. I have to push pretty damn hard to get these to sit in there. Uh, so the only thing that I'm going to do is pull off the protective tape. I will um, throw on a little bit of crazy glue or acrylic glue and those puppies won't, won't move. Final product, there's no gaps in between the two pieces of acrylic at all. Um, I do highly recommend leaving the, the masking on the acrylic before you, uh, you know, don't take it off prior to cutting, leave it on the entire process. It's a little bit more difficult to take it off, but if you're gonna be gluing it, it'll protect the surface. Um, also, you'll see a blowtorch in the background and a little bit of crazy glue. Uh, the blowtorch helps kind of round some of these edges. And also if you have, uh, sometimes just the pulsing of the laser creates uh, an interesting edge on this. Lightly heating this helps kind of round those corners and gives it a nice finish to it. Uh, and just be careful. I mean, obviously, you're just really heating it up lightly, just enough to, uh, to heat up the acrylic. So I hope that helped, guys, for any type of inlays or inset jobs you have. Uh, remember, the kerf is really just compensating for the thickness of the beam so that you can have stuff that just kind of snaps together like that.